In the land of myth and the time of magic, the destiny of a great kingdom rests on the shoulders of a young man. His name, Man. Hello guys and welcome to yet another exciting video right here in the Africa Army Studio. As you can see, I was just trying to recreate the Merlin voiceover. Now, if you don't know about Merlin, Merlin is a TV series which was released in 2008 and it was one of the very popular first films. In fact, that was one of the first seasonal films I ever watched and I developed some kind of connection to that particular film. Now, I just had this thought recently. Can I kind of recreate or record a professional voiceover of that sort? Of course, I don't have the gigantic studios that they have, or let me say the best microphones that they have. The only microphone I have available are just two. My mobile phone and my Zoom H1N. I've gotten a lot of questions and people keep asking me, can I record a professional voiceover on my mobile phone? And that is what we'll be put into the test today on this channel. And the answer is... Can you use your mobile phone to record professional audio? Well, stick through to the end because I'm just curious as you are, we are going to put this to the test. Now, spoiler alert, the answer is yes. You absolutely can record professional voiceovers with your mobile phone. You don't need any fancy equipment to record a professional voiceover. So right away, let's recreate the Merlin voiceover using my Infinix Android mobile phone. Let's get right into it. But before we do guys, if you're new here, kindly do me the favor by clicking on the subscribe button because it goes a long way in helping us make such awesome content right here in the Africa Maze studio. So. To up the quality of the microphone built in into your phone, here are some key things you need to take very key note of. Now, first of all, as you can see, this is a professional microphone and I have a wind cutter on here and this prevents wind from entering this microphone or let me say unnecessary noise. Let me take this off and you hear how it sounds. Yeah, so basically that is how it sounds. So we need to first of all, be able to create something like this or let me say replicate the effect that this thing creates on this microphone using a cloth or something to cover the surface of the mobile phone just around where the microphone is so that to prevent the P's and S sounds from escalating. So for now, PPS, PPS. Let's hear the difference when I put this on. Yeah, PPS, PPS. So this is actually doing a lot and we are looking at being able to recreate this effect because this is a diy and i want to show you exactly how to use your mobile phone without spending any extra money and yet record quality audio from this we are going to be using just an ordinary cloth now the next thing you need to know is that echo is one of the major killers of professionally recorded voiceover so you need to try as much as possible to limit the level of echo that you record on your mobile phone and because of the nature of the way the mobile phone was designed this microphone picks a lot of ambient sound so we need to now be able to direct the voice exactly to the mobile phone how do we do that we need to be in an enclosed environment and because you are not in a professional studio how we are going to be doing it is we are going to be using a cloth to cover ourselves to prevent the sound from escaping so that everything is trapped into the microphone and that way the low end of our voice is actually heard and if you have a deep voice or your voice isn't really that deep capturing those lower tones of your voice will really make the voice of a sound really really professional the other thing we'll be doing is called padding we need to put something on the table which also absorbs the sound and not rather hitting the sound on the ground and bouncing it back so to achieve that we are going to be putting a pillow on the table to absorb all the sound so that it doesn't bounce back to us creating an echo so this is a quick breakdown we need a surface we put our pillow on top, we put our mobile phone on top, we add a surface of cloth on top, we sit down, we cover ourselves with another cloth, and we are ready to start the voiceover recording. 
And so I'm going to be recording the same voiceover using the mobile phone. And when we are done, we record another one using this professionally designed Zoom H1N. And let's compare the two and see whether there is colossal difference between the two. Now, let's get to it. Just get your mobile phone. Let's open the sound recorder. I'm not even going to be using any third party application here. I'm just going to use the default sound recorder that comes with the mobile phone. So let's find the recorder. This is my default uh, recorder. Here's our pillow. Now let's put our mobile phone. Down part or the part of the mobile phone where you make calls, where you talk into, is the part facing you. All right. The next thing is a cloth on the mobile phone. So just to make sure that you don't temper with this again, I suggest you press record button before you put your next cloth on it. So let's press the record button here. So we have this on. So we are left with the final thing, which is to cover ourselves again to prevent the sound from dissipating or escaping. Let's do that. And guys, this can be very weird. So, all right. Okay, so see you after the recording. In the land of Let's try and see if we can recreate just this same voiceover using the professional microphone. All right. So with this professional one, um, this is actually an overkill, but it's also best. So in this sense, we don't need this uh, because we already have one on it and this in turn will absorb the audio too. So let's compare, let's record this again. All right guys, so let's do some post-processing and we would be right back to test and see which of these two sounds better. Okay, so our results are finally ready after several hours of processing the two audios. Now, before I even play the audio, I must say that I was really, really impressed with what I was able to get from the mobile phone. Guys, if you have this, then trust me, you are ready to record some killer voiceovers with the techniques that I've just shared in this video. So let's go ahead and listen to these two devices. The first one is from the mobile phone. In the land of myth and a time of magic, the destiny of a great kingdom rests on the shoulders of a young man. His name, Merlin. Now, let's listen to the recording from the Zoom H1N. In the land of myth and a time of magic, the destiny of a great kingdom rests on the shoulders of a young man. His name, Merlin. Now, let's just play them side by side and play the two right after each other and see how they sound. In the land of myth and a time of magic, the destiny of a great kingdom rests on the shoulders of a young man. His name, Merlin. In the land of myth and a time of magic, the destiny of a great kingdom rests on the shoulders of a young man. His name, Merlin. Impressive, right? Yes. So that is exactly what you can achieve with your mobile phone. Now, a lot can be done in post to improve the quality of the audio coming from the mobile phone, which I did. Now, if you want me to make another separate video detailing how I actually process this audios and how I actually manage to add a little bit of oomph and power to the audio coming from this, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make another separate video detailing exactly how you can treat audio or transform your audio coming from your mobile phone. Of course, it all starts with the recording. If you use the techniques that I've showed you, then it's easy. You are already more than 70% complete with getting quality audio recordings from your mobile phone. I'm OBL Jr. right here in the Africa Ame studio. You can also hang out with me on Instagram at OBL underscore Jr. DM me your questions and I will gladly respond to all your messages. If you also have any further questions, guys, kindly leave them in the comment section below because on this channel, I personally reply to every single one of your comments because 
you guys are really awesome. And guys, kindly consider do clicking on the like button because it goes a long way in making other people discover our channel right here on YouTube. And as always, until next time, guys, keep practicing filmmaking. Peace out.